Tom! Lacey? Tom? Lacey? They're not here. It's all mine! <laughs>it's me peter the sound guy all right that was super fun so as you can see tom and lacy are not here today i took over the channel because they are on vacation now you're thinking of course they could have filmed videos before they went on vacation and posted them while they were gone and no one would ever know but it's summertime so let's have some fun that's about as cool as i get all right so i made a game pickup as well and i wanted to show you guys some things that i got from Facebook Marketplace and just from being a cool guy and having cool friends. Everyone should have cool friends. First thing I got, this is my first uh, pickup video, so if I'm a little sloppy, you know what's up. Oh, it goes on the thing. There we go. NHL 2012. A year that hockey was a game. People played hockey. Now, I got this game at GameStop because it was $1. Would you buy it for a buck? Is that the phrase? Would you buy that for a buck? Who knows? I bought this for a buck. Next thing I got, actually, the next bunch of things I got, I got a Facebook Marketplace. I came as a bundle. I just wanted three of the games that were in the bundle, but if they all came together, might as well get them. So I got Kung Fu Panda 2, and it is a Connect only game if you've never played it. Everything you do is controlled with your body, because that's how the Kinect works. Pretty straightforward stuff. Hiya. Next, I got NBA 2K13, the year after hockey was a game, basketball was a game. Then I got Madden 2015. 2014, nothing happened, guys. 2012, hockey. 2013, basketball. 2015, football. 14, sat at home, did nothing. Just kidding, I play Connect Sports Season 2 and Season 1. Again, get off your couch, do something. It's gonna be fun. Good luck. <laughs> this is a pretty good bundle. But that's not all the games that were in the bundle. I got my games out of order, so I gotta fix that. These next three games are the only reason I paid $10 for this whole bundle of games. The first game, Sonic. Mega Collection, I was a classic collection, but it's Sonic Mega Collection plus, the plus, what is the plus? Game Gear games. There was six extra Game Gear games on here that did not come on the first Sonic Mega Collection. This was something that I played a lot in high school and I was really excited to get again. I'm probably just going to play Sonic 1 through 3 like I always do though, even though it has everything else. Oh wait, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Beans, if you've never played that, is actually a really fun game. It has a really steep learning curve, more than Tetris, it speeds up faster. But it's basically uh, Dr. Mario for Sega. Cool, next games. This is the whole reason I got the bundle. Halo 1, Halo 2. Now, if you've never played these games, you should. I, I was going to say something mean, but I thought... I like you guys, you're pretty cool nerdlings, so you should play Halo 1 and 2. Now most of you are probably more advanced than me, so you probably have Xbox One. You can get the Halo Classic like series that just came out, and you can actually play online with these. As you can see, these are original Xbox versions, so I can no longer play online with them. But I have four brothers and one sister, and one, two, three, four really good friends. And I have a wife too, and we're pretty much going to play split screen all the time. So, who needs you, internet? I'm just kidding, I love you guys. You're the best. Okay, cool. So that last, like, let's see, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. This collection, I got all in one bundle for $10. Oh my gosh, that was exciting. The cool thing about Facebook Marketplace is, that when you're on there, you can find some really good deals as long as you're patient. 
that's one thing that I do a lot is search Facebook Marketplace for what I can find that I think is a good deal. I see a lot of things that I want, but I know the price is not what I'm looking for. And it's really easy just to be a little more patient and you'll find something cool like this because there's always someone that's trying to clean out their garage or their attic. Instead of having a yard sale, they've got it online now. So check out Facebook Marketplace and you'll find some cool stuff. We'll come back to that in a minute. This is where we're gonna edit because I gotta pick up the thing. And we're back! Hey, that was a cool edit, huh? So the next couple games I got from a friend of mine. Uh, she had a brother who no longer needed the games and so she was looking for somebody to give them to and he, she gave them to me. So first one I got was Far Cry 2. Now, honestly I've never played the Far Cry series at all, but I have watched a lot of Let's Plays and they're, it's a pretty good series. Lots of exciting action, mature content, that's why it's rated M. Next thing. Max Payne 3. Disgraced Cop, Murdered Family, Revenge. This is the Punisher, with the Matrix added in. A friend of mine told me that earlier today. And this uh, this is a really cool game. It's called The Wolf Among Us. So earlier I was talking with Tom and Lacey about this game and Lacey was like, that's a cool game. It's the wolf inside of us or something. And I was like, what? And then it turns out she was talking about a werewolf game that I never even heard of. So that's why they have this channel because they know more than me. But I know that this game is pretty interesting because it's made by Telltale and you can make all the choices that you want and see how everybody else chose and made you do the same thing that everybody else did or something else. Choices. Life's about choices. Let's make a new choice. Next thing. Oh my gosh, guys. Seriously, the next two things I'm really amped for. You don't even know. Okay, so the first one is back on Facebook Marketplace where I got this. Now, my wife is a huge Zelda fan. And she only plays the NES Zelda because that's all we had for the longest time. I got Ocarina of Time. She's not a huge fan of three-dimensional controls for the 64. So I picked this up for her. Bam! Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past in the box. Now the condition of the box, which you might be able to see, I mean this game is like 30 years old. It's cardboard. I'm okay with that condition because what I'm really here for is the cartridge. And if, I don't know how many of you guys know this, but this is the second release of the Link to the Past and you can tell by the cartridge because the first release of this game and the earlier SNES cartridges had a flat front with a single uh, line opening to lock the game in place so that you couldn't just rip it out in the middle of your gameplay. Now the second series of this game and a lot of later games they realized that it wasn't really stopping people from ripping it out from what I read on the internet at least and so they just decided to make it a more flat front or not really flat but a concave front to allow for uh, an easier in entrance into the cart or into the console and then an exit of the console. So, but yeah, I have Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and got it boxed. Now, real quick story about that game. I saw it on Facebook Marketplace and I thought, that guy's asking a little too much for it. So like I said, be patient. And the price went down $5 and I thought, I'm going to contact him. And I talked to him about it and I told him about how we like to play the Zelda series. And he came back about two days later and asked if I was still interested in the game. I told him, of course, I'm still interested, and he said he would give it to me for $10 less, like less. so that's $15 less than he first posted for. And what he said was, I was the only person that contacted him that told him that I actually liked the Zelda series and I was going to play the game. Everyone else that contacted him said that they were going to resell it. And I thought that was crazy. Like, who contacts someone and is like, I'm just going to buy your game to resell it. We're going to play them. you got to play the games, guys. Play the games you buy, okay? That's, that's my rant. But... So I got this for $15 less than he posted because we had a good conversation and I was a nice guy and he was a nice guy. So just be nice, everybody. Make a meme of that. Okay, and the last thing. Now, I know a couple months back, Tom and Lacey had a cool video where they found the Atari XE at an estate sale and we made some cool music out of it. I'm not going to make any music out of this one, but... Uh, something cool that I found at an estate sale is this boxed Game Boy. 
So we have this com this Game Boy. Now it's not complete. I'll show you real fast what it came with. I have put other things inside of it. So what it did come with was the styrofoam tray, which is also in pretty dang good condition for styrofoam being 30 years old. This is my copy of baseball. It's got worn places because I've had it for a long time. But it came with the original link cable with the twist tie still on it, so they never ever used it, which is really cool. And then obviously, we got the brick. This is the best one for me because look how big my hands are. Look at this. It's like a Game Boy Pocket in my hand. But I got Pokemon Yellow in there because I like that game. Now, unfortunately, this Game Boy has some dead pixel lines on it, which is actually pretty easy to fix if you have a soldering iron and a couple of the tools to open it up. I have a soldering iron, so I got to get some tools. But it does work. Uh, the sound is great, which I care about. So I just kind of turn it on and listen to Pokemon whenever I want. My daughter carries it around too, so that's pretty fun. But overall, I think it's a pretty good haul. So a lot of these things came from being patient and just taking my time, looking everywhere that I go, estate sales, yard sales, uh, Facebook marketplace, and just looking for that good deal. I think I made out pretty well. This is all less than $100 and I'm going to have years of fun off of it. Well, nerdlings, that's my first pickup video, my takeover of Tom and Lacey's channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down here in this area. Comments are way down there. Just keep going down further. For Good, you got there. Awesome, cool. Type, type a little tiddly type, and you get us a little like, a little comment, share. Do not forget to share these videos because people may not have seen them, and if they haven't seen them, they're missing out. We all nerd. Do you, nerd? All right, nerdlings, we'll see you around.